Back to the charts of Big Boss Crypto, and today we'll look at the recently released white paper for MetaHero. We will walk through the basic gist of the white paper right here, and basically the most important parts, and how they will be relevant to in-game pur purchases, especially in the gaming and the NFT markets in the upcoming years. So without further ado, let's look at the charts. All right, then. so the matter just recently released a new white paper after a reorganizational structure, says Robert Green left Metahero for the Everdon project. So, and we got the uh, white paper right here. We'll basically go through the basic gist of it and the most important parts. But if you want to read that by yourself, we'll find a link in the description. So it's titled right here, Metahero, high realistic avatar creation using the Metahero system. And basically, in their introduction page, they write basically the problem with the interactions being online, especially in the gaming part of for people, is that there is still a lack of realistic and accurate representations of ourselves in the virtual world. And traditional avatars and profile pictures are often limited in their ability to truly capture physical appearance and characteristics, which is true, as basically we all use all kinds of different online avatars uh, in the world today whether it is in the gaming gaming part or in other metaverse parts that exist today. So they present this solution of MetaRift through their uh, big scanner that basically you can render highly, highly uh, quality NFT scans of yourselves that you can use anywhere, whether it is in video games, in fashion, basically through fashion, your NFT scans, you get accurate measures that are tailored to you in the future. And in all kinds of uh, different areas, you can use your scanning, whether it is an NFT marketplace, B2B marketplace, built in inflation. This is basically the tokenomics part of the material token, which is built on the BNB blockchain. And if you scroll further down into the material platform, how it works, basically you go get a scan of yourselves in uh, one of your state of the art 3D scanners that basically captures a high quality render of yourselves that basically becomes your own NFT avatar that you can license out through the business model uh, to different games. Like for example, if uh, if you want to have yourself scanned in a video game, uh, maybe some kind of like war game, for example, you can approve if you want to have that or not. And if you may approve that, you perhaps you might get paid a fee for that. And also uh, different use cases that your scan may, might have. Like I said before, e-commerce, gaming, especially gaming, healthcare, fitness applications, and much, much more. Virtual try-ons, especially for, uh, uh, like I said before, e-commerce, if you want to buy buy some clothes, you might get, uh, you might do some virtual try-ons through your scan and see if they fit or not. So it's exciting. It's exciting. Meta is ahead of the curve when it comes to NFTs, and there might be a few great future use case for the Meta in the future with great growth. And also an interesting part right here uh, related to material and NFTs in gaming is uh, this article right here from uh, uh, last year that Activision, one of the biggest game companies in the world, made $5.1 billion from microtransactions and DLC. And especially this part right here that Activision reported that in 2021 they earned a staggering $5.1 billion up from $4.85 billion from 2020. This large amount of money was raked in solely from in-game purchases, uh, microtransactions and DLCs for games. Especially in this game right here, Call of Duty, where they earned a lot of money from the microtransactions. I believe there were millions per day just from Call of Duty. And which is especially from their business model right here with in-game skins. And as you see right here, these are different uh, in-game models from different soldiers in the Call of Duty game. As you can see, they have a lot of different uh, soldiers right here. They even have Leo Messi, Paul Pogba, Neymar Jr., where they earned a lot of money from from this type of microtransactions when they partner with them. So the idea is basically with all with this business model and basically with NFTs being the future, what if you could use your NFT your NFT scan from Metero to use in-game in a game like Call of Duty? Like to me that would be a no-brainer with the amount of money that 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 you might might earn through that. And basically this is huge and basically this is the future and use case with NFTs. And this is the future we are, we are heading with high quality rendering scans that you can use anywhere. And I mean, NFTs as of today are pretty much, they lack behind from what the future vision is truly with, I don't know, 
the board eight NFTs, for example, and stuff like that with only pixel images. I mean, the this is the future of high quality render render NFTs of yourself that you can use anywhere in virtual reality, education, e-commerce, gaming, especially with the amount of money you can earn for that. So, I mean, this is the future of of NFTs, and I truly think uh, Matera will be part of the future and see great growth. That's all for me. Thank you so much for your time. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, or leave a dislike if you didn't. Please note that this is not financial or investment advice. This is only for entertainment and education purposes only. This is Big Boss Crypto, the realest of the real of crypto YouTubers. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Big Boss out.